เลยเพลสโอ้โหเพลสเพลสเพลสเพลสเพลสเพลสเพลสเพลสเพลสเพลสเพลสเพลสเพลสเพลสเพลสเพลสเพลส This is bottom house by a size seven curry <laughs> traditional seven curry made by these homemade dishes. So it's a small catering business in LBI. Everything is homemade, made right in her kitchen, and it looks incredible. And this is the type of experience that I cannot get back home in Canada. You can't make it the same way. Fireside bottom house is the heavy rain. You're outside. I mean. This yeah. is everything about why travel is to get experiences like this. And absolutely indeed. And for those of you who may not know, seven curry is a traditional um, meal that consists of seven curries, and it's usually served at like um, Hindu celebrations, yes. weddings, pujas, sort that sort of event. So what do we have here? We've got katahar, our favorite, kalalu, or baji, chana. Mango, edo. pumpkin, and edo. Of course, you've got your dal and your rice and kulad. And one more ingredient that I can't live without: achar. achar. <laughs> yes. So we're using our, of course, leaves or and my fork. leaves and your fork. So I gotta get up for this. Yeah, I think. I gotta get up for this. I gotta get up. So let me just start with some rice here. It's also customary too. I remember being at pujas and jandis where you would actually take two, and you'd line it in case one has a hole. Then you get <laughs> dal all over your dal all over your korta, right? Yeah. So, but these look pretty good though. Yeah. So, do you have like a method of how you take yours? Do you do the dal first, the curry first? Okay, so I am 99% of the time dal goes in a cup. Right. That's how I eat it, <laughs> right? But it depends how you want to do it. Yes. Well, I'll hide my doll on the rice, and then I layer like the curries around it. Nice. I mean, for this video, we can put the doll. Wow, this is a dream. Piece mango, and this pumpkin has a really nice, deep, dark color, right? So when this is full time, I get up first because the katahar is the first thing to go, <laughs> right? <laughs> wow. Yeah, this smells so good. It smells like a wedding house, right? Bring back some wedding house vibes. Lots of memories. Memories from my childhood. Yeah. And you know, a lot of my audience, a lot of my viewers, they ask me for seven curry. Right, right, right. They ask me to make it, but why would I do that when I can just come here with Dee? Because she's a boss. Yes. Right. I'll come that way. Look at that! Beautiful seven curry. Yes. Listen, I can't wait anymore. I'm typically a best for last kind of guy, but I'm going right for the katar. <laughs> Me too. All right. Me as well. Get some rice. Oh, the, you know a little baji too. Why not? Oh yeah. my god. Mmm. Mmm. Eating out of a leaf brings me back to my childhood memories. This is not something typically you do back home in Canada, right. but traveling to Guyana, and then certain functions at the temple, certain people would go and they would get the leaves to give it that authentic feel right, and the exactly. tradition. And mm. it's such a beautiful dish. It's such um, a nostalgic dish, as you mentioned. Speak of Guyana, and you ask anybody to name some of the top five dishes, seven curries going to be on that list. Always comes up. Mm -hmm. Tastes better eating with your hands, tastes better out of the leaf. Tastes better when it's cooked in your bottom house. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is so good. One thing I noticed with each curry that I'm tasting, the flavors are all unique and different on their own. Definitely. But this is, this is pretty exceptional, though. I've eaten a lot of seven curry. I've eaten a lot of these curries by themselves and individually. But the flavors here are spot on. Yeah, for sure. Salted so well, cooked so well, big flavor. Yeah, and I love the fact that the mango adds a little bit of sweetness. The pumpkin adds a little sweetness. Mm -hmm. You know, the um, the chana adds a little bit of texture, and it's just a wonderful meal. It lights out. Mm. 
you, once you start, you can't stop eating. That's the thing. And this tastes like homemade. Like I, nobody can replicate Seven Corina restaurant. You can't. Mm, you can. Wow. Everything is so tasty. Definitely. Every time I go out to have function and have it, I have to go back for seconds. And you gotta take home. This is lights out, man. It's so much flavor. I'm really, really <laughs> impressed. Really impressed. I don't think you've seen this much excitement out of me since we came. This no, is, I this can is see the really happiness. good. I can see the happiness. Your taste buds are happy. Mm. So, of course, I gotta give a big, big shout out to the chef, Chef Davina, from these homemade uh, meals. And she has done an amazing, incredible job. Absolutely amazing. So you guys, please come and support her business. Mm -hmm. Come on out. She does mutton curry, duck curry, dal, rice, bhaji, all of your home homemade favorites. She does all of it. Plus, there's sweet meats. We're gonna be trying just after this. <laughs> She's done sweet meats for us too. Nice sweet rice and stuff. So don't fill up too much. Mm -hmm. I think it's too late for that. Too late. Too good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see why it's the double leaf now? Look at <laughs> Look what's going on. Calo down. Yes. So the best way to end a meal that seven curries, seven spicy curries, is to cool down with some delicious dessert, especially sweet rice. This is a must at most events if not all right pujas jandi and this looks like the guy's way this looks like the way they had it at temple this looks like the way that my, my grandmother used to make yes, it yes absolutely um, all the, the the cherries in there all that goodness yes oh beautiful Lovely. nice cinnamon sticks thank you that's great and we'll try this first yes we'll try this first okay and many cultures have a dish similar to this sweet rice, right? I mean, right. it's so simple. We're using basically dairy and rice, two common pantry staples. Then from there, if you want to put cinnamon or vanilla yes. or cardamom or saffron or condensed milk, Absolutely. nuts, cashews, pistachio, there's so much you can add to it to make it your own and Definitely. utilize what you have at home. Apricots, dried food, etc. Mmm. This one oh of the, my god. It's so fluffy. This <laughs> is kick me in my face amazing. This is so seriously. good. I didn't expect that. This got to be the best sweet rice I've ever had. No, seriously. It's, I am not kidding you. It's very airy. It's fluffy. Like it, There's no marshmallow. Yes. It's marshmallowy in my mouth. It's 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 spacey. It's, it's really fluffy. And I am not a person that likes a lot of sweet. I, yeah. So this is not like overpoweringly, clawingly sweet. It's the perfect balance of sweetness in here. This is wild. This is really, really special. And I've had so much sweet rice. Oh my God, yeah, this so is I, so good. I thought it would be, you know, a good one and stuff, but and I didn't expect the mouthfeel. I, because I'm so accustomed to it being overly sweet, that's what I expected, and it's not. No. The mouthfeel, though, is just so creamy and fluffy, and it seems like really, really large fat rice. That's that's the what's... It's, it's probably broken rice. That's mm -hmm. what they use, yeah. But it's... It's really, really good. It's perfect consistency. I'm taking of more of that. I'm taking more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I give this. If I had more thumbs, <laughs> you give it four thumbs up. Yes, it's so good. Oh my god, this wow. is so good. Mm, seriously. Then we got to try something. Oh wow, <laughs> I. We've been eating non-stop for many, many days now. I have yet to see Stacy do this. Oh, this is so That's good. how good it is. That's how good this is. I've never, I haven't even seen that. Not that at, so not good. at, I don't want to mention the names of where we've been, but we've been some pretty amazing places. I have not seen you do that. Oh, that says a lot. This is good. This is so good. I love it. What do we have next? We have a beautiful dish here. It's a dish that uh, I had a lot growing up as well. Penos over here. 
And this is utilizing dairy. Uh, I think the different different terms here are sour milk, turn yes, milk. Turn milk, yes. Turn turn's an interesting term as well. It's not <laughs> something uh, common that you're gonna learn in culinary school if something turns, indicating that it's gone bad right. or that it's it's past the expiry date it's or it's spoiled. changed it's spoiled. Turn. It's really it's, right. it's an interesting term. Yeah. But this is what it looks like here. It almost smells to me like a like a runny prasad almost kind of thing. Oh, it smells amazing. And another amazing way. I can see all the cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon sticks, but again, we're going back to that creativity, the ingenuity to utilize something that someone maybe but throw out. That and is turn true. it into something Excellent and manipulate point. it. Yeah, turn it into something that uh, we love. Yes. And that, that, that gives people joy. Absolutely, I couldn't have said it better. <laughs> Perfect description. Okay. Please say something. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> of course. All right, Amazing. a little more. Oh, this that's is, good. This is good. I can see lots of cloves. Cloves, cinnamon. Uh, it's also useful. It's also like interesting to me to see I whole see cloves in here and whole cinnamon. Yeah. Um, in a lot of cultures and a lot of foods, they don't cook with the whole spices and leave them in for for serving. But I find in West Indian and East Indian cultures and East Indian food, West Indian I just got a big in. chunk of ginger. Yeah. And it's like candy ginger yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it tastes so Really nice. interesting. Yes. Wow. Um, this is the best I've ever had. Oh my goodness, this is And kudos lovely. to the chef for leaving in all the whole spice. There's a lot of clove in this. And you would think it'd be overpowering. It's not That's at not. all. It's not at all overpowering. It's really nice. It's a really nice perfume well in my balanced. mouth. And like I said, after all the spicy curries, this is the perfect way to cool down that palate. Mm -hmm. And to finish that meal, incredible. Incredible meal. And after this, you take a nap. After this, I have a more seven curry. <laughs> <laughs> And you have a more sweet rice. Oh, 100%. Yeah. The stuff that your grandma would make you, the stuff you get when you visit a neighbor's function or event, this is it, guys. Trust me. These homemade meals in LBI, Estate Road, you have to visit. You have to. It's a treat. Trust me. This traditional this... seven curry, traditional jandi food. And this is, uh, by a long shot, one of the best meals I have ever had in Guyana. Yes. Well, I'll say it right now. And one of the best experiences in Davina's kitchen. You know, her kitchen is right at the back there, yep. right at the back of us. Her fireside is going. You can hear, like, the chickens. You can, you know, it's, it's just all around great experience. I don't want to leave. 